hi this video is brought to you by techdirectarchive.com in this video i'll be showing you how to install windows 10 on vmware workstation with a vmware workstation player you can easily run multiple operating systems as a virtual machine and it is free to download online the vmware can be used as a desktop um, advisor to manage apps in a local virtualization environment. So in this video, I will be showing you how to quickly download it using um, the installation file and also downloading the Windows 10 ISO and setting it up, installing it on the VMware workstation. So the first thing we are going to do now is um, going to the website the workstation the vmware workstation website to download you can download for free um, you can as well check for the version you want to download and go ahead and download it i already downloaded it then for your windows 10 iso you can um, please note the website this is the web page you go to download the VMware. So on the Windows 10 ISO, this is also the um, web page you come to, you download and you can get started. You can as well make use of a license. If you don't have a license, you can still install it. Then when you have license, you can go ahead to activate. So um, I already downloaded both and I already installed my VMware player. So this is it here. So now um, I need to create a new virtual machine. Create a new, I click on that. So once this is up, then I can browse to where I have my Windows 10 file, the ISO file. I can browse to it and um, I click next. I, I, I already have it on my D drive. So I click next. So here you can give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to use tech direct VM. So um, I will leave the location as it is. I'm not going to change it. So, but in case you want to change yours, you can go ahead and uh, do that. But let, let me see. I think um, let's let me change it to the D drive. I think I have uh, have a folder already set up so let me add it here so you can change your location if you decide to do that is your own decision to make so next click next then you can give your disk um, the size you want so I'm going to give mine 10. Then also make sure that, um, though it depends on what you want, if you select this option here, um, split virtual disk into multiple files, what will you be able to do? It makes it easier for you to move your virtual machine to another computer. Mm -hmm. But if you select this, uh, store virtual disk as a single file then you may not have that opportunity uh, just the way you uh, um, split virtual disk and offer you on this first option you don't have that uh, 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 opportunity to split i mean to move your virtual machine to another computer so um i've decided to select the second option which is what i want so just click next 
then you can customize your hardware then you can uncheck this the check this uh, come by default power on this virtual machine after creation so um the customization you can do that here by clicking this button and you change whatever thing you want um customize hardware so let's see i click the button so this is what you have the memory you can uh, improve on the memory the processor you can also improve on the processor you can increase it you can decrease it um, these are all the settings the hardware setting you can make use of to customize it to what you to whatever you want so now um, once you are done customizing your hardware then you just click finish so it's creating your disk so it's just going to take some little time to finish up so once uh, is done then you can now launch so it's waiting for connection So let me click OK. So I'm um, loading my windows 10 now so i did not press the button immediately so i might need to try once more So the system is a little bit angry. So let me try and uh, adjust it. I'm finding it difficult. So I think it's uh, just because of um, my system memory. That's why I'm having this. So, but um, let's see. okay so let me i'm going to restart again yeah so um we are currently installing the windows 10 onto our vm station vmware workstation 16. we have a vmware workstation 16, so it depends on the version you're going for so but the current one i have on my system is 16. so it's currently loading the windows 10 the iso file i downloaded so it's pretty much um, easier to configure the vmware workstation so once it's done now i can launch my windows 10 and i can start working on it so i hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching